tennis court was. We're looking towards that. There's that main office there. That that was tore down I, not too many years ago. So there's the old Robin Hood. This is the, this was International Mill, uh, Milling Company. Then it was Robin Hood, and then ConAgra. And there. This is a, now we're looking straight from the west. Here's the railroad tracks. Boxcars could go in here. Look at that for you of the farmers. That's an old grain binder. But look at all that thing was wooden. And I, I, I've never heard anything that had a fire or anything. I think they just, over the years, tore it down. But elevator, they call it the elevator in New Prague. It's a whomper of an elevator. There's that grain, uh, uh, grain binder. Being a farmer, I had to look at OK, this is the old creamery. It was down to the left. You know where um, the well, Hartman's is? Hartman's is right here. And then this was torn down, and this is this became was a Ford garage for a while, and then uh, so anyhow, there it is. This now building is now black. The creamery sat right right in here, and the, all the footings were over here when we did the redoing on that. So here's the new creamery, and that's over to the north side of Main Street, and. They're still working on it here. That's probably the butter maker with these white on. Look at all cream cans back then. New Prague uh, Creamery Association. Kind of neat design to it. And it's gone. That's Frank Ziska standing down there. <laughs> he had a milk rope. Remember, he was the chief of police or the policeman in town. Looks just think they had to unload all those cans. They dumped them, put them inside, washed them, brought them back, stacked them up, loaded them again. Talk about tough, tough work. That's that's Frank's just got right in there. There's the railroad tracks over there, and there's where the, the skating pond was, and there's the warming house over there. And there it was before they tore it down. And there it is today. It's all gone. Now. I'm going to show you later on. This is where the mill pond was. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of that. That was full of water down in there. Now we're looking back at the mill from the north. OK, there's the Bros Hotel, Hotel Bros. This is what it looked like originally. And now this town had four hotels because so many people Everything you bought, you bought from salesmen, so all these salesmen would come around and be staying in all these small towns. And if you look at they're just kind of relaxed, they're all leaning back. See that dog there? That was a collie. And I was showing these to somebody once, and the lady said, I was raised in the hotel. That was my dog. And I, and I don't know who, who the people were. It, it might have been. Right there? Yeah. OK. Well, the boys are having a little session. <laughs> <laughs> and I could I see, see it, 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 it looks like a St. Bernard to me, but she, she said it was a collie, but anyhow. OK, then it became the Mason Hotel. And look at the whole thing was torn off. See? The whole deck and everything, they're open. So this is about a 49.50 or something. Hottich's Meat Market's right there. and then. Then this was Mox Mercantile. Then it became H and uh, W. Uh, Heck and Label and Walbreath. What Wal? Wal? Yeah. So they had the machinery there, and over on the other side is where they had machinery parked. Hottages there. Okay. And there, there's John rebuilt this. And now that building, that house is still there in this one. Now the new streets are here, so this is fairly recent. And this is, this is. Remember, he screened it in, and then he put a little room over here, and they started having that bar over here. And then this, this is the box that has been painted there. And of course, it's all been redone. Now, this, you know, that the Baptist House, or uh, no, on the north side of Main Street, over here would be where the creamery was. That's the Wolf House. Okay. And there's that, I'll just keep going here. 
There's that, look at that house with that. See that stuff on the roof up there and all this? There it is today. But see that eyelid window here and all this? Mrs. Wolf lived there. Um, what's her son's? I can't think of it. John is her son, John Wolf, yeah. And there's that, this is the, the Baptist home. And who knows who built that? Was that built by the people that had the mill? That's Bean. Isn't that a Bean house? That's what I always thought. And then, and then over the years, I think Billy Miller bought it and remodeled some of it. And now it's still there. There it is today. And then this, this part is all new on there. At least it wasn't torn down. There's the mill pond. It says, well, it, it, I think it's touched up a little bit. But there it is. See it here? This is all full of water in here. And here's that, here's that, the high school, and here's that bean house, and, but that was water in there, and it was all filled in. See, it's all been filled in, and the creamery was put there. So, there was a lake there in New Prague. This is when they were grading it, I just took a picture of it. And there's what's there today. Now, this was the Harvey Man Manor, or mansion, Harvey Manor, and that became the Dupre Hospital. I was born there. Okay. So long. And there it is today. I was 1933. Yeah. And I, I talked to Dr. Javinka. I said, how did, how did you get patients from one floor to another? He said, we, we carried them up the stairs because it was, it was three stories. That was a, quite a house. That, that was called the Harvey Manor. Now, who they were, I don't know. Were they, they were part of the mill then? Yes. Okay, okay. It's been it's been altered so much, so many times. There's the new hospital. This was this is in '52, and there it is after about the fifth addition to it. And now they just finished another operating room here just recently. So, and there's the helicopter port on top. Okay. There's St. Wenceslas. Now look at these people. What in the world is going on? And look at how they're dressed. Look at... Confession. They got what? Confession? <laughs> but anyhow, and look at their hats. And they got umbrellas. So what are they looking at? Everybody, look at, look at, the, look at here. All these women here are with outfits and guys. This here. And look, look at the kids with their black stockings. And the women got long dresses. Now this, this church was, you all know what when this is put up? 206, uh, yep. The, I think, now I keep, now look in the middle here, these look like some priests in here, so. It was a dedication of the church. That's what it is, it's a dedication. But look at, they're all looking, walking by, but look at, look at how they're dressed, isn't that neat? The guys, and look at summertime, everybody's got suits on, can you imagine? Look at those kids, white dresses and black stockings, and the boys with their knickers. And what is that? You suppose that's a confirmation class? And look at look at here. Look at now who are these coming around here? This is on the east side coming around. And here's on the on the west side. That was torn off. And then a lot a few years ago, remember they built that little part on there with that elevator in there for caskets to come up and stuff. Okay, let's just keep looking. All right, that looks like a bishop to me. See his hat and the or headgear, and look at all these priests in different orders. The shorter this is, the lower you are. So, get to the high, you move up. <laughs> this is probably the monsignor here and the, the archbishop here. And look at look at up here though. Guys all got suits on. So, oh, could be Casey's. Oh, that would make sense. Sure, you see. Great, I learned something. But see how it's, I got a better blow up of it. See that he's on. But isn't that neat? I think it's the dedication of the church. Yeah, and you know maybe maybe they had confirmation or whatever they did for for the kid, uh, the, youth, the youth. So anyhow, let's see what else we get out of it. Look at the garlands and everything put around here. But. 
How many times have those trees been planted on here? I think they've been done three times since I, I've been here since 66. Okay. Okay, here's the old school. And look at look at on these look at all this all these windows. All this is on here. Power plant. They leaked. They leaked. Well, they I, leaked. I presume that's they did. They yeah. And there's a guy that's late to church. <laughs> see, think it's fast. But and here's the old parsonage. See that? Okay. So uh, okay, and then here's that original school. Oh, there's a guy that's hurrying to church right there. There he goes. But it, it kept it pretty much. No, this is all the uh, Crowdville. Uh, rebuilt this year a few years ago and then of course that's gone and been replaced and now we're up on top of the water tower I presume we're looking to the west and starting to pave there or is that yeah there's there's got some some pavement there's some some hard surface but there's still horses look at here see the hitching rails they still got hitching rails and here's here's the Lacarna pharmacy here remember this is Lacarna on there and then it was a uh, uh, who who has guide had the dry cleaners in there for a while. And this is the Barta House. This was a candy store right here. But then as you got down towards the railroad tracks, then whatever surface is on here is gone. And I I, I don't know what that is out there. So, do anybody remember a great big old house on the other side of the highway? Because the highway would have gone right across here. I, I couldn't. I couldn't get a. I couldn't get it. But see, see the hitching rails there. All the hitching rails there yet. No, I don't. I think that's probably just been wet down or something. So, but there's that big old house over there too. See where these are printed in Germany. Most of these are made in Germany. But look at look at all the businesses in New Prague. This. Okay. So in some cases, uh, I've seen this on other images that you present, if hand colored was particularly, yep. they yep. added buildings that were not existent. Just to fill in, they just kind of, you know, they could print it in Germany, so they kind of so a little bit. Yeah, just conceptualizing it. Yeah. But, but look at here. See, there's that mill. See, there's that wooden part back that we talked about. It's all torn off. So, But just think about it. Here, out here in the prairie, uh, no big roads going through here, and this mill absolutely depended on the railroad road, so that's what really made New Prague. So, but uh, I always try to figure out what do you suppose these buildings were. But like Dennis, you say maybe now that's got to be a lumber yard over there. Over there, see all the lumber stacked over there. So. A.D. nineteen oh six. And look at here, 1857, 1907, remembrance of the dedication of the new St. Wenceslaus Catholic Church, New Prague, Minnesota, and the re celebration of its golden jubilee on July 7th, 1907. Isn't that neat? And when I came to town, this is a flat ceiling across here. This is the original. See the Stations of the Cross and all the heating. Remember, New Prague, all the buildings on Main Street got their heat from the power plant. When I, when I came to the clinic, we were still getting our hot water, heat, steam, and then we used cold water to cool it. And then one day I came to work in the morning and it was all drenched. One of the, hose, uh, hoses, one of the pipes broke and the steam had steamed it. About two weeks later, we start putting in our own heating system. But um, so the stations of the cross, all this here. But look at look at the carpeting down here, and uh, isn't that the Pieta of Mary holding Christ right there? And I've asked everybody, what happened to that? And uh, but look at that. Now this is a this this roof on this is ca is a steel, and those were f were made. The beams were made in New Prague at the New Prague Foundry. And one time I was, I was um, giving this presentation and a woman said, 
my family owned that foundry, and she knew about that they cast the beams for this, and they ran into some problems financially between the church and that guy, and they sure. parted ways. Okay. And they moved. They got so ticked off. They moved to Northfield. <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah, they up, that's they. She said. Yeah. They were. They put in all the steam heating that under the streets. All of it was forged here in Ukraine. And when it came time to pay for it all, the priest said you should tithe that to the church. Yeah. And Mr. Makhachek said, I, I can't tie that. I, I have to pay my men and materials. Yeah, okay. And they're now Seventh-day Adventists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But, but so this, was, this, is, this is the originals. And then when they, had, uh, when they did some restoring, the last few years they put this whole new ceiling and restored, uncovered this and found all this, then... They got some of the pictures from me and they blew them up to show what it was previously. But isn't that neat? It's just such a, such a church in a small town. See, there, there's, there's that with Mary and Christ there, see? So if anybody ever hears, knows anything about what happened to that. Isn't it in front? Yeah, that church by the altar? I don't think that's a Pieta. I think no. that is St. Anne. Oh, okay, okay Saint then, Anne okay. Church. Is it, is it still there then? I, I, I think you're right. I think it's on this side, back on the altar. Oh, okay. But I think it's painted. Okay. But look at those chandeliers. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. 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 Yeah
This is fairly recent. But see those windows, that's all been replaced, those there. 1914, now this is the new St. Wenceslas School. Okay, here's the old convent, and then they built the new one that was torn down before we you know, added on to the church for the, uh, the new gymnasium and all that stuff. So that was the first convent, then they built the new one. That was, when did they build that, in the 50s? Anybody know yeah. the convent there? See the rectories there, the way it is. But see, here's, those, here's, here's all those, they keep replacing those trees. And look at all the dormers. This, these were air vents. Oh, I'll show you some more. But the ballpark back here, and that's a pretty good sized convent. When I, when I came to town, there, I, had, uh, I had 90 nuns as my patients and nine priests. And remember how many nuns were here in town? Like what, we have 14 at the hospital of, of uh, nursing nuns and uh, all the ones at uh, St. Wenceslaus. So anyhow, whoops. Okay, look at, see all that stuff on top? Those are the air vents, top. And they went along. And look at that roof, how bad the roof is. Really in bad shape. There's one of the versions of trees. There it is. And look at, now I don't know what's going on, but they must have been putting some kind of a system in here for sewage and or, uh, wa wa surface water. There's again that roof that bothered me. So much up there. There it is then. They took everything off, took all those vents off, all the cupolas, and roofed it. Now there's that new part that they added on a few years ago with the elevator in it. There's the Baptist Community Church, is next door to Kay and Mike Wilcox. There it is today. It was there. It's out in the, there it is now. And fifth grade public school, look at how the kids are great. They all got ties. I don't know if this is special time. That looks like the teacher, huh? He's got his shoes there. But look at, they all got coats on and stuff. Look at her puffy sleeves. The, no, there were no nuns at this. Uh, this it must have been the public school. Assembly room, high school, New Prague. That would have been that high school, that we, the, the original high school. But they're all dressed up. I think staff back there. That, that, yeah. Look at those hairdos and those high collars. Hair slicked down, parted in the middle. This is Sokol, and Ann Juni is one of these. Some of you might remember Ann Juni. She said she belonged to it. That was the women's uh, for women's sports. It was called Sokol. Anybody know what that means in Czech? Well, it started as a gymnastics. Yep, that's it. Yep. See, it says Sukho New Prague. And I don't know which one of those is Ann Juni is one of those. And looks like Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy of the <laughs> football team. 1907. And I, I, I think, I think, this, guy, this looks like the guy must be the priest with him. I don't know. It'd be a good idea to have a priest with you. <laughs> have a better football team, maybe. Seal of Minnesota, that's what New Prague Mill was originally. Now these are coupons that I found. And, and they had all these things that they gave away. Coupons, aluminum. And John Reck and Yackley had the monument, uh, monumental works. I, didn't they have a coal company too? No, John Proshek had that. That's John Proshek Lumber Company. 
Prochex, wasn't that the mill or the lumber yard before Mox took it over? So, and uh, <laughs> no dust, no dirt, all coal, more heat. <laughs> Reading, that must have, it must have been hauled in from Reading, Pennsylvania, because that's a big coal mine over there. Theodore Jaeger had the milk. This happens to just be a card that I picked up somewhere. In the shade in New Prague, Minnesota. It's very hot down here. A little shade is quite a, a what? A boon? Boon? There's another one. Their road is good. <laughs> so now, we're not, New Prague is not German, but they're Dutch or Hollander or something. I don't know. If it sold postcards, who cared, you know? And look at there. Isn't that neat? New Prague Milling Company and black kids on there. And they had, they had mills in New Prague and Blue Earth. Look at capacity, 1,000 barrels a day. Man, what was that at, uh, Larry, when you were over there? It was, no, it was uh, how many truckloads or carloads, you know? New Prague Fall Ring Milling Company, New Prague, Minnesota. And I can't see the bottom, but it's, oh, uh, Blue Earth, they had a mill with Blue Earth, too, so. This town is great, best in the state. The climate just suits me fine, but I better I'd feel, but better I'd feel with you at my heel. <laughs> it's sights with joy to combine. <laughs> now, tell me where these, you wanted to see this real quick? Okay, tell me where these stores are. Their main street in New Prague. There's a better shot of it. Look at the brick rack and how neat this all the steel work is on there. See that? And then Yeah. Those are all steel frames around those. And there, this here stick, used to stick out here. And then on the corner bar, there was one on that corner bar on the side. That's what the, there it is. That's Tikowski's building. It was a big store when we came to town. And you all know what this is. National Historic Building, the bank building, First National. And that's the Red Owl Agency, Field of Oryx on the corner, the stop slates right here. And this is the, the Manasik building that burnt and fell, is gone. Ryback building, that's that one with the steeple on it. This is Rinda's old building, Rinda Hardware? My grandfather built that. Oh, okay. What year would that have been built about? I, I think it's... It was late 1890s, and he okay. sold it to Rinda, I think, in about 1912, maybe, something okay. like that. Okay, okay. And this is right across the street from the bakery. That It has that co-op in there now. 1897. Look at that, that neat. It's, it's up here. There it is today. That's uh, the, the, the historical society was in here for a while. This was the paint. Mar, what was his name? Mar, Mar yeah, yeah. Kamari, Kamari. That's a, his his son was a veterinarian, right? Yeah, and this was on the. Uh, one of the stores down there. Yeah. And this was on the uh, Econo Foods that was torn down. And this was on that Vanasic building on the corner. That was a neat one. Who made that, Dennis? Did you do that? No. I don't know. Not where I 
There's the one I wish we could restore. That's on the building right next. It's on the building where uh, uh, Edward, Jones. Edward Jones is there. And that was the city. The gas company was there for a while. Whoops. I think, oh. And this is just, I, I just, I like those dorms. This was the uh, Catholic workman. Now it's a uh, New Day church. So, can you see what's wrong with this picture? The moon is not in the north. So maybe some German did this. <laughs> so that's the end of the story, folks. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is just not my thing. I, I'm a Gideon, and we were speaking at a, at a uh, uh, Hispanic church. Look at how people dress up going to Hispanic churches. They all had suits on and stuff, so really interesting. Well, anyhow. Thank you, thank you. And if you, anybody, I've got a pack of cards here. If somebody wants to come up and look at some of these cards I got, or I have, not I got. I, some of these pictures are um, of a parade in 1931, and they got floats and stuff in it. So if you want to look at them, I got copies of these. But they're not on here. <laughs>